Hi, my name is Shahroz Ahmed and in this video I'm going to do some sample questions for Sabis Mathematics. So I have uh, a periodic for mathematics. This is of grade 10, 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some sample questions in order to uh, let you know the basic concepts of uh, mathematics. All right, so let's start off with the first question. In the first question, it says that uh, if y is equal to x to the power of 5 times x minus 2 to the power of 4 then dy by dx so we have to find out the derivative of this function so we have been given the function and we have to work out the derivative so over here you can see that we have two functions of x that are being multiplied this is the first function and this one is the second function and when two functions are being multiplied we use the product rule so let me just explain you the product rule so if we have two functions and two functions of x and we have to find out their derivative so let's suppose two functions are being multiplied so its derivative will be the derivative of the fun first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function times the first function so in this one we suppose that uh, u is x to the power of 5 and v is x minus 2 whole to the power of 4 and we have to work out dy by dx all right so dy by dx will become equal to uh, the derivative of the first one that would be 5x to the power of 4 times the second function as it is plus the derivative of the second function that will be 4 times x minus 2 to the power of 3 and d by dx of x minus 2 so this whole thing is the derivative of this function times the de uh, first function as it is so it will be x to the power of 5 so once we'll solve it we will get 5 x to the power of 4 times x minus 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 times x minus 2 to the power of 3 and uh, d by dx of x minus 2 it will be like 1 minus 0 so that won't make make any difference so it will be like 1 minus 0 is only 1 so there's no need to write it and x to the power of 5 will be as it is now I'll just rearrange it so my d y by dx will become equal to 5x to the power of 4 times x minus 2 to the power of 4 plus 4x to the power of 5 times x minus 2 to the power of 3. So this will be my answer for the first function where we have differentiate a function by using a, the product rule. Alright so now let's move on to the second question. In the second question our function is y equals to negative 2 over 5x minus 1 and we have to work out the derivative. So my y is equal to minus 2 over 5x minus 1 I can write it as minus 2 times 5x minus 1 to the power of negative 1 okay now I will derive it I'll differentiate it so dy by dx will be equal to I'll use the power rule so power rule says that if we have to find out the derivative d by dx of x to the power of n so this n will come over here and we'll subtract 1 from n so it will become n x to the power of n minus 1 all right so this is the rule that we are going to apply over here but the complete rule is d by dx of this function that is x so usually it is 1 so we do not write it anyway so we'll apply this power rule over here and let's see what's the result is all right so it will be like minus 1 times minus 2 times 5x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 minus 1 d by dx of this function 5x minus 1 5x minus 1 so the derivative will become 2 times 5x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 and uh, the derivative of 5x minus 1 will be only 5 so my answer will become 10 times 5x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 and we can simply write it as 10 over 5x minus 1 
whole square so that's the answer all right now look at this question number six in question number six we will it's the application of differentiation so differentiation is simply the rate the rate of change so by definition we know that velocity is the rate of change of displacement acceleration is the rate of change of uh, velocity so if we happen given the displacement we and if we take its uh, derivative then we will get the velocity if we have been given the velocity we take its derivative we'll get the acceleration all right so in this question it says the position of the particle along a line in t seconds is given by x equals to 40 square plus 80 plus 1 find the velocity of the particle at t equals to 2 seconds so over here if you happen given the displacement position is displacement okay so we have been given the displacement and we have to work out the velocity at x at t equals to 2 seconds so what we have to do is we'll just take its derivative with respect to t so my function x is equal to 4 t square plus 8 t plus 1 so i'll do dx by dt that will become 8t plus 8 now it says that t is equal to 2 seconds so we'll simply put t equals to 2 and we will get dx by dt equals to 8 times 2 plus 8 so that would be 16 plus 8 that is 24 now this dx by dt is the rate of change of displacement that is equal to velocity so we'll say our velocity is equal to dx by dt so ultimately our velocity is equal to 24 um, meters per second because the unit of displacement is given over here is meters and for the time it's seconds so it will be meters per second so that's the velocity this is v so this is how we can work out we can use the application of our differentiation to work out the velocity from the displacement all right, now let's discuss another type of question. Question number 13. It says at a maximum turning point, x naught comma <coughs> f of x naught and for increasing values of x over an open interval about x naught, we have d phi by dx changes. So we have to tell what's the behavior of the derivative. So the maximum turning point is this much. And uh, with the increasing value of uh, x, our f of x naught or our f of x will decrease so the graph you can assume that the graph will look like this it's going up it reaches a maximum point and then it decreases so the nature of derivative is from positive because over here the graph is going up it has reached its maximum position and then it has started decreasing so it's from positive to negative the gradient is going from positive to zero and then to negative so this is the behavior now let's discuss the next one so in question number 14 it says find the values of x for which the function uh, y equals to 5x cubed minus 15x is increasing and decreasing so it's quite simple in order to find out the values for which the function is increasing or decreasing we just have to put uh, we have to take its derivative and we'll put it equal to zero when we'll put uh, the function equals to zero we will get the station point so let's suppose we have a graph <coughs> so let's suppose the graph is like this so station point will be this one and this one at the station point the gradient becomes equal to zero so this could be x1 and this could be x2 so we'll have these two station points so let's see how it goes so first of all we have to take its derivative so y is equal to 5x cube minus 15 so y prime like the derivative of y will become equal to 15x square minus 15 i'll put it equal to zero and work out my station points so 15x square minus 15 equals to zero so i will get 15x square equals to 15 so this will get cancelled and i'll get x square equals to one so x will become equal to plus minus one so we got two station points x this is zero over here we have plus one over here we have minus one and we have to determine for for the interval where the function is increasing and decreasing so we simply have to choose some values between 
these intervals so so basically it's we have to choose three values so let's choose negative 2 from here let's choose 0 from here and uh, let's choose 2 from here so when I'll insert negative 2 into the function of the gradient I will get y prime equals to 15 times negative 2 whole square minus 15 so I will get a positive answer because 15 times 4 is 60 60 minus 15 will be equal to 45 so I'll get a positive answer so this will be positive here now when I'll put 0 I'll get y prime equals to 15 times 0 square minus 15 that will be equal to minus 15 I will get a negative answer so from negative infinity to negative 1 it is positive from negative 1 to 1 it's uh, decreasing because uh, I got the negative answer now let's insert 2 so when I'll insert 2 it will be like 15 times 2 square minus 15 I will again get a positive answer that is 45 so this is positive so the function is increasing from negative infinity to negative 1 and from 1 to positive infinity and the function is decreasing between negative 1 to positive 1 so in order to write it we'll write it like this negative infinity to negative 1 union 1 to positive infinity so this is the interval where the function is increasing because the gradient is positive and for the decreasing function it's like from negative 1 to positive 1 so this is the interval where the function is decreasing so these are some of the sample questions that are related to the differentiation that will uh, help you to understand some concept so this is it for this video and uh, i'll come up with the next one